Let's see you back in the order and bye for another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. This is uh, uh, way number 19. Way number 19 of the 48 ways to wisdom. What are the 48 ways to wisdom? These are 48 ways of acquiring greatness. You want to achieve anything in life? Uh, uh, these 48 ways can get you there. They really can. They really can. It's uh, from a codification of Jewish law from 2,000 years ago called the Mishnah. Mostly, most of it's like really boring stuff about, you know, uh, uh, well, I think it's reasonably dull anyway. Other people out there really like it. I find it reasonably dull. It's like, you know, you but how you uh, don't mix uh, meat and milk dishes. It, it, lots of very practical things of Jewish law. Uh, 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 but there's one part of it called Perky Avot, uh, uh, one tractate called uh, Perky Avot, which means Ethics of Our Fathers, which is like this rabbi said, you know, wanted to put their greatest hits of, uh, of wisdom down for all eternity. So th that's what they did. So one of these missions in, in, the, in that is called, uh, uh, there are 48 ways to acquire wisdom. They're like one or two words each. Uh, and that was expanded by uh, Rabbi Noah Weinberg, my rabbi, uh, from from uh, who started Asia Torah. Started also started a bunch of stuff. He's a really incredible guy. Actually, I should really do a video about him sometime. Really, really remarkable person. Uh, he he passed away about uh, what fifteen years ago, something like that. So this was his thing, though. The Forty Eight Ways to Wisdom was one of his like signature things. Uh, and we're in a period of time of like a forty eight day, forty forty nine day period of time called the Omer, uh, which is like you know, there's lots of spiritual potential for growth. So this is this this time we do uh, a way a day. A way a day is a good way of uh, of of utilizing this time, uh, uh, you know, to to build your because you once you, you it, the idea is you build your spiritual reality during this uh, forty nine days, and that kind becomes a physical reality. It comes bleeds through into the physical world, and uh, and that yeah, and that's where we want to get to. It's just it's, that's essentially where we want to get to. This is way number nineteen. Before we get into it, before we get into it, this is what actually one of my absolute favorite ones. This one is great. Uh, 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 before we get into it, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. All those things are fan freaking tastic. The algorithm went crazy the other day, and like uh, uh, my my subscriptions went up, and like it was really, like went up really quickly and stopped dead right and they're sort of going down again uh, i who knows what's going on who knows? but hit the like share and subscribe button that's really good comment is really really uh you know commenting is really helpful in fact i would say probably you you guys help me out it probably uh uh push the algorithm uh, uh 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 to be nice to me so yeah please keep doing that if you subscribe make sure you're still subscribed if you want to be super nice go check out my indiegogo uh two awesome comic books two awesome comic books uh links are in the video notes uh uh, uh i'm closing this out soon i'm waiting for a piece of artwork and we got about a week down and I'll do a week sprint, you know, with it, you know, at the end of the, uh, uh, you know, the, for the end of the campaign, because I want to start my new campaign. I, I, I like to write and draw comics, you know. I do a lot of stuff. You know why I do a lot of stuff? Because I get this way, this way to wisdom, which is, uh, uh, you know, my wife looks at me, my kids look at me when I talk about this one. They look, they like, they look at me like I am completely insane. Uh, uh, and I do, <laughs> I do understand it. But this one's called uh, uh, Wake Up Only. Well, uh, this is actually called, called Minimizing Sleep. We're in, we're in a uh, this whole week has been minimizing stuff like minim minimize it, yeah, mi minimize food, minimize uh, uh, whatever, talk, yeah, minimize all the things. I thought next week's going to be uh, minimize minimization and make things bigger, make everything bigger. No, no, but uh, minimize sleep. Uh, uh, so what the hell? People like sleeping, right? What the hell? Why would you want to minimize sleep? Uh, um, well, first thing you've got to answer, you, you, you have to remember is. Um, uh, uh, look at babies, right? Babies, what happens when it's time for bed? When they have, when you have to put them in bed? Kids, when you have to put them in bed, what happens? They cry. They cry. They are not happy about it. They don't like it. They don't want to do it. Why don't they want to do it? Why doesn't they? Well, there's two reasons, I think. One, uh, at first, they're not sure they're going to wake up again. <laughs> they're like, oh, is this the end? I've only been here for a bit. No. Uh, but secondly, they haven't learned that life sucks, right? They haven't learned that life is hard, life is miserable. They think life is wonderful. And you know what? They are correct. They are 100% correct. They are eager for life. Babies are eager, eager for life because life is wonderful. And life is wonderful. Now, what makes life wonderful, right? What makes life fantastic is that you can do stuff, right? You can do stuff. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. That is actually the point of life is to do things. And I like doing things. I like achieving things. I like creating things. But it, that's me, right? But here's the thing. Uh, and uh, this 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 comes from from a, a a I will say a deeply religious worldview. You know the uh, uh, 
Uh, you know, I think the secular way of looking at things is, look, I am a, you know, I'm dust in the wind. I'm like, I'm a, I'm an invisible speck on an invisible speck. Whatever I do doesn't really matter. I'd like, yeah, there are a few people who shape human civilizations, but even that, you know, in the, in the context of, of our entire universe, we're, we're nothing. We're, 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 we are, we're invisible, right? We're nothing. Uh, 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 but from a, a, from my, my worldview and my, my, my religious worldview is I think we're all insanely valuable and important i think we're all uh, uh we're all part of god right we're all precious part of god uh, uh, i'm a massive sci-fi fan right sci-fi doctor look look around this is where I, this 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 office right this isn't made up this is actually how i live <laughs> i'm like i'm into all this stuff right i'm a massive sci-fi fan there's a movie called the thing uh they did they did a one version of it in this in this 50s i think and then they did a, a john carpenter did a remake in the 80s really good movie it's one of the first like body horror movies uh, uh, but they basically had this alien and the idea of the alien was every every part of it, every molecule of it was sentient, was sentient and alive. And the only way you could tell, and they could take on the form of anything, the only way you could tell something was an alien. Uh, they had a scene where they, they take blood from each person, they put like a hot needle into it. And if it blood, if the needle just went, you know, then, then it's just human blood. If, it need, if the blood went, it runs away because it was because it's all sentient, it's all alive. Uh, that's the alien. That's it. But that that's essentially how I view reality. I think we're all part of God. We're all an incredibly important part of the, part 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 of re reality. I think God created this reality for us to grow, for us to grow, and us for us to be great. And that means a lot of times we have to go through sucky stuff. You know, we have to go we have to go through hardships, and we get to learn that life life sucks. <laughs> we get to learn that life sucks, but it's not true. It's not true. That it's it's a it's a uh, means to an end and, and but the, the point is this we are all unique we're all individual and we all have some special light some special thing that only we can do right that only we're able to do because it's only us uh, and we're, we're, that are in this time and this place that we've had this education that we got to the point where we are now it, we are the only people we are the only being in the in the in the you know, uh, in in the entirety of creation, right? We are the only being that has experienced everything to get you to this point now. And you don't know what you know, what your uh, uh, you know, what your special light is, what what, what your special thing. Is. But you know, everybody has one, right? Everybody has one, and you just need to sit, sit and think about it. And you need to be excited to do it. So yeah, I write and draw comic books. I can't wait to write and draw more comic books. I love YouTubing. I love. I like doing these things, right? I like doing. I like creating these things. I like. I like being alive, man. Being alive is good. Being alive is good because you can do crap, right? Because you can do crap, and crap is pretty fun. Um, so fine, minimize sleep. So if you connect to that, sleeping kind of sucks. Sleeping is just a bit of death that like sucks your life away. So um, when I was younger, I could I my I could get by on. Um, like four or five hours sleep. Now, now I'm now I'm like six, about six hours sleep a night. Yeah, you know, around there. Uh, I wish I could do. I wish I could sleep less because then I could do more and do more. You have more stuff, right? You have things you can do. So let's have a quick look and see what they say. But what is the purpose of sleep? The sleep. The purpose of sleep is to re uh, is to uh, re-energize our bodies. Now, if you find sleep pleasurable, well, it's, it's reasonably pleasurable. Like getting out of bed's hard. <laughs> it's always kind of especially in my bed. I have a very comfy bed. Uh, 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 getting out of bed's hard, you know, and it feels good. But uh, yeah, that's uh, the, yeah, that's why they yeah, the in in Jewish law, this is actually a part of Jewish law that you that you're supposed to when you wake up. Get out of bed quick, because if you don't, it's going to feel too good. But the functional sleep is you're re-energizing yourself to live. And living is good. The thrill of living. You know, you've got to, you know, you've got to work out like like life is great. That's really the bottom line. Uh, so it goes through here. You, I'll put the link to this in the video. So there's uh, uh, techniques that you can do to sleep less. Ah, be careful with that stuff. You know, I mean, this was aimed at, this was written, this was aimed at a younger crowd. Uh, uh, but you do, you know, you get a second win. You do, you you do get uh, uh, people do crazy things to is, is to keep going, keep awake. Um, why? Because it says over here to avoid the zombie life, to avoid walking around, yeah, you know, just being asleep and awake at the same time. It's a tragedy. It's an absolute tragedy. Because again, you're valuable. You are intrinsically valuable, and only you can do what you can do. So you've got to do it. <laughs> you know, it's like the world is lacking until you get what you can do out. Till you can get you know, to you, uh, you, you can get it done. So why is waking up? Uh, why is waking up a way to wisdom? Um, the struggle of life is a struggle to be awake. Well, that just sounds like corporate 
Bull crap to me. I don't know. Uh, decide life is good, uh, otherwise you'll go to sleep. There you go. I think that bullet point says it all. That bullet point really says decide life is good. Really, and even if you have harsh life, uh, 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 you know, life circumstances or things going in your life that are not good, most of the time, most of the time, life is good. Life is great, and uh, it's a tragedy. It's an absolute tragedy if you can't connect with that, right? So life is great, uh, uh, and the more you understand life is great, the more you want to be awake. So men on my sleep, baby, men on my sleep. This is way number nineteen. Is it nineteen? Yeah, this is way number nineteen of the Audio Ways to Wisdom. Let's find out what we're minimizing tomorrow. Join me tomorrow uh, 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 for another video in the. 48 Ways of Wisdom, have yourselves a freaking awesome day.